When you think of music, rock or pop probably come to mind. My next guests have created a new sound by mixing rock, pop, and dance music to create the desert rock sounds of Mojave Gray. Welcome Xander Bleck, Lewis Middleton, and Michael Posey. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, so thanks for being thanks. here. Thanks for having us. All right, here. Xander, let me start with you. Uh, where did you get this idea of creating the combination of music that you call desert rock? And which, by the way, love the display. Yeah, I feel I mean, right It's at taking home. me right there. <laughs> Um, I think, you know, uh, the pandemic definitely caused a lot of artists like ourselves to reevaluate and reimagine everything. And I had actually moved to the desert, and it was a perfect template to recreate what we were doing. And uh, we wanted to blend a different, few different genres and came, came up with this sound. And I've seen some of the videos on YouTube and yeah. I love how you really bring the desert to us and you combine that nature. Why was it important for you? Well, it's such an inspiring place. You know, it's hard not to, uh, it's hard not to, you know, be creative it's and, beautiful. and take in all the scenery when you're, when you're there. And uh, it's also quiet. So, you, you know, we, we were able to really concentrate and get a lot of work done when we're out there. And when I, a lot of people were stuck at home, I wanted to really show, you know, just this beautiful natural landscape. So, and it served itself well with kind of the style. It was a good backdrop, if yeah. you will. Oh, yeah. Very inspiring. And I lived in Arizona a few years, and I actually oh, loved it. So you know all about so it. I yeah. do love the desert. Uh, I, 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 I would probably live there again if I could. It's very inspiring, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's very peaceful. I mean, we're so lucky to be able to work together the way that we do. Uh, but to have that backdrop, that landscape, uh, to come together in that sort of environment, it really lends itself to being an artist, I think. I, I believe that, you know, you really have time to, like, center yourself, think, and just, it's very, like, therapeutic. And create actually. great music yeah. Yeah. at the same time for us to hear. Now, Mojave Gray formed in 2021. So what type of music were you performing, let's say, before? And then how do you feel that change of music has inspired you to do something more? Yeah, uh, so we had all played before um, in various rock bands, and that was kind of our foundation, I would say. But we've all always loved dance music and electronic music. I do too. Everybody does. <laughs> I do too. I mean, I think now more than ever, people want to dance and they want to have fun. So I think just blending those two worlds was something we were all really interested in. And uh, yeah, it feels good. Now, I know the album is called Monument. Let's talk about the songs. Let me start with you. What's your favorite one? I mean, don't tell me all of them. I get it. But there's always <laughs> that one, right, that everybody loves. Sure. Uh, I'll say this. Um, because we've worked together so long in different capacities as musicians and we really rely on our live act, uh, Afterglow, it's a song we've been using as an opener for a oh. lot of our shows. And there's something about that, that human connection and that... Um, I don't know, it's just, there's this energy that comes from that song, the way it builds, the message that comes across, it immediately brings us together as a band, but also you can feel that with the audience. And you? Well, they're all great. I knew it, there it was. <laughs> but if I had to pick one. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, a song called uh, Wonder Valley. Wonder Valley. Which uh, I love because it was sort of the turning point in our creative direction. Yeah. And um, sort of like, it's also uh, in a real location in the yeah. desert, which oh, yeah. is called Wonder Valley, which is where we shot one of our first videos. Nice. Yeah. This really wondrous place. A heart can't break anymore. So pick the pieces off the floor. Life won't be what it was before. But I promise you that. Um, I, I mean... You gotta be partial to one, come on, don't be like the whole thing. Right. Uh, Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Right. Ooh, I like yeah. that name. What is that about? Yeah, it's, it's about, um, chasing inspiration, or the, the muse of, of life. <laughs> So 
Is it easy to create music when I think two of you live near each other and the other one is far away? How do you do it? Uh, we've been utilizing a lot of technology, Zoom, uh, FaceTime, and we've done rehearsals over Zoom. We've done lots of writing sessions. It's been uh, interesting, but really efficient. So who does what in the band? Uh, I'm the keyboardist, and okay. I also do mixing as well. Guitars. Guitars. Yeah. And I'm the singer. I was going <laughs> to It's the hat. And I'm the singer. It's <laughs> yeah. the hat. I was going to say, it's the hat. Uh, so what's next for you guys? What's on the horizon? Are we touring? Yeah, we... Uh, we definitely will be touring. We're actually going to be in the studio um, coming up for the next four weeks. So nice. we're very, yeah. very excited because we've done all of this development, all of this prep, and now we're finally really laying down the real thing. So can't wait for that. Well, definitely invite me to come to one, please, oh, especially you if you're in South Florida. 100%. And I get to go behind the scenes, right? You get full <laughs> VIP. And we love South Florida. So. Yeah. There you go. And yeah. can I get a... A hat for the Cuban cowgirl yeah, here. Right. There you go. <laughs> My lady. Thank you so yeah, much. Good luck to you. Really nice thank to you. you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you so much pleasure. for your yeah, time. Thank you. I hope to hear a lot of you on the radio and all over. We, you will. Thank you, especially Thunderbird. Yes, Thunderbird. I like that one. And still to come, an amazing estate that is for sale for $150 million. Grab your checkbook. It's gorgeous. We'll be right back. Heart can